We're joined by Harry, the captain of the under-16s here at Redan. Thanks for joining us, mate. Yeah, good day. How are you going? Good. How are you? Are you you're getting ready for? Uh, well, it's been a great season for you guys already. Yeah, yeah, it has been a good start. So yeah, it's good. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, you as a player, mate. Um, how long have you been with the Mighty Lions for, and uh, and and how you've gone so far? Um, probably or eight, eight or nine years maybe. But um, yeah, it's been been going pretty good. So yeah. And why did you uh, why did you join the club, mate? Any particular reason, family or, or something? Um, oh, well, no one played here before me, but I just heard it was good good family club. So yeah, just joined here. And they've uh, they've been good all the way, haven't they? They've uh, they've lived up to that name. Yeah, I sure have. Yeah, it's been great so far. So yeah. What got you to join footy? Uh, not my, uh, I don't know. Just parents and grandparents always watch the footy on the TV, and I just thought oh, I might as well give that a crack. So yeah. Was there any particular player that sort of inspired you to, to that you sort of watched over the year that you that you sort of liked? Uh, not necessarily, but yeah, just thought may as well just come have a go. So yeah. And uh, which AFL team do you follow, mate? Ah, uh, Sydney Swans. Yeah. Now why Sydney? Ah, uh, well, I went for them when they were South Melbourne, so I guess uh, then they. <laughs> Changed to Sydney's one, so I guess I just had to go go with that. Yeah. Now you said the clubs are sort of got that family friendly environment. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, the, the team that you're sort of with, the under 16s, and uh, and the group of players that you've got with the team. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good kids in in this team here. So um, yeah, they just all get around each other and just good good teammates, I guess. Yeah. And uh, who's who's your coach? Uh, Tim Beecham. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's good experience with him being the under 18s interleague coach. He must uh, give some good advice to you guys. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah, he's um, been pretty good. We had him last year as well. And, yeah, we went pretty far last year and hopefully we can do the same this year. So, so uh, what, what, uh, tell us a little bit about the success you've had through the teams over the journey. You said you did go far last year. How did you track? Um, I think we made it to the first round of finals last year and then got knocked out. I think it was in overtime actually against Bacchus Marsh. So, oh, wow. so uh, yeah, that was pretty tough. But um, in the early years at Redan, we, we were never really any good. Always, always the we're always the easy team to beat. But um, over the past three, four years, we've come a long, long way, and now we're a competitive side, I guess. What do you think sort of changed that? Uh, I'm not, not really sure. Just I guess the kids that have came and. Yeah, good maybe. coaches. Good coaches, yeah, and um, we also get a lot of the boarders from um, St Pat's and all the other schools up there because it's uh, nice and close. So I guess they've helped um, helped a great deal as well. So. Yeah, you are the captain of the team, mate. Um, what makes you a good leader around the team? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure, really. Uh, I guess just use my voice, I guess, and just get around all the boys as much as I can. Oh, this is, it's the simple things, mate. Uh, which yeah. position do you play? Um, oh, usually on the wing or in the forward line. Yeah. Love kicking a goal? Oh, everyone loves kicking a goal, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. What, uh, what are your expectations for the team this year? Um, oh, just to play hard and just hopefully we can go a long way. So just get around each other when anyone does a good thing. And, yeah. A yeah, chance to pick on some of your teammates, mate. Uh, who, who, is, uh, who likes to be the joker around the team? Oh, I'd have to say Sam Hope here. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, it just, just doesn't start with the jokes and just, yeah, just the funny guy, I guess. Does anyone have any silly superstitions that you just roll your eyes at? Uh, oh, not, not really, but yeah. That, that'll come in time, mate. Yeah, sure will. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and who takes their footy the most seriously? Who they sort of get into the, the game mode and yeah, you can't get into their head at all? There's a lot of people, but probably uh, Ryan Drera. He uh, he always yeah gets real serious, gets into game mode early. Yeah, but oh uh, well, at, at least uh, hopefully he's, he's got to relax. He's got to enjoy his footy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sure does. But he, everyone enjoys their footy. But yeah, he's just yeah. Excellent. Thanks so much for joining us here on the show, mate. And we wish you all the best throughout the rest of the year. Uh, cool. Th thanks. Thanks for this as well.